So welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. I have finally started to use a foam cannon to clean my tractors and equipment. Now I'm sure many of you have used these for years, but I'm guessing a, a good percentage of you were part of that group of holdouts that have never tried one before like I was. Now I used this for the first time last night to wash the skid loader and the MX-5400. Here in a little bit, we're gonna wash the excavator. I'll show you how I use it. And I'm telling you, I fell in love with this thing. This will change your life. I like to keep my equipment clean. I mean, it's not like I wash them every day or anything like that, usually after each project. But if you saw those videos over the last couple weeks, I did a big job down at my sister's place on her driveway. I was working in the rain on and off and both the skid loader and the excavator are pretty filthy. So I like to keep them clean. Uh, equipment is expensive. And I also think it helps with your resale value down the road if your equipment is clean and well taken care of. Now you can get these foam cannons, you know, little cheapos that are all plastic for probably 15 bucks. Uh, this one was a little bit more expensive than that. However, a lot of brass, it's nice and heavy, seems to be pretty good quality. And the way you use this, you can adjust your fan by turning this right here, in or out. This right here controls how much soap it's going to take out of the bottle right here. I'll show you here in just a bit when we wash the excavator. But yeah, it's nice and heavy duty. Works really well. Now this wash that I bought, I didn't know what to buy. Uh, I figured I'd try this first. It's from Chemical Guys. It's Honeydew Snow Foam Auto Wash. Now this will cut, you know, a little bit of grease. But if you've got big globs of grease around your grease fittings, you need to clean all that stuff off first. It's not going to help much with that, but it definitely does work really well. Getting that grime off the machine gets back in all the nooks and crannies. And what else I noticed was I didn't have to dry anything. It dried clean with no streaks and uh, works really good. But basically all you do, you fill this bottle about three quarters of the way with water, put a little bit of soap in it, hook it up to your pressure washer and you're ready to go. Now last night, I used one bottle to wash both the skid loader and the tractor. Plenty. ready to go now what I did first I took this down into the yard and I sprayed the uh, heavy mud and debris off the tracks and the blade I didn't wash anything at all up here yet but I wanted to get that stuff off first and I'll foam this thing all up leave her sit for a few minutes put the other tip back on the pressure washer spray it all down and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done now the pressure washer I use is a steel I've had this for probably three years or so it's an rb 400 i think this one is big enough they make an rb 600 and you got to be careful even with this one like if you're pressure washing your deck i mean this thing will cut wood if you don't keep it moving uh, but for this setup right here works really well now like i said this product is going to cut some grease I, I usually stay on top of that though i wipe off the excess grease as best as i can uh, you know, there's a few places here and there, but if you don't, it'll just get away from you. So I like to just keep it cleaned up. You know, if you really want to get that grease off without wiping it off, you need heat like a regular steam Jenny. I remember years ago, that was uh, one of my jobs. I worked for a contractor. I did a little bit of everything, but I pressure washed while I steamed equipment. Uh, man, you'd get suited up in a big rain suit. That bring like those big 631 scrapers in and up there where that knuckle the grease was about a foot thick I swear and you get up there and wash all day before they take them into the shop and do repairs or rebuild them or whatever but I don't miss those days too much we're ready to go
So when I start with this, I adjust it so it's a big wide fan and I get foam on everything. And then I let it sit for a few minutes and then I'll adjust this down so it's just a uh, straight jet. And I get into those places like, you know, where the uh, boom meets the machine, where those pins are. A bunch of grime and stuff gets stuck in there and that'll help blow it out pretty well. We let her sit for a few minutes. Now we're just going to spray it off. Well, there you have it. That's no hand washing, no hand drying or anything like that. Once it dries off completely, maybe I'll give you another look at it, but there's hardly any streaks. Uh, it works really well. It does. Now, this isn't like a detailed wash, but I spent a total of about a half hour on the excavator. Got everything cleaned up. Looks good. Machine actually looks pretty good. I've got a little over uh, 300 hours on it so far. And knock on wood, I don't think I have a scratch on it yet. What's amazing is how much uh, foam it produces, but you don't use much product. That's what I use so far, and I probably went a little heavier than I had to, but this is skid loader, MX5400, and excavator. So it seems to last a long time. If I can find a link for one of these, I bought this at uh, an AutoZone, but if I can find a link for one of these on Amazon, I'll put it in the description and pin a comment. But before I wrap this video up, some of you are asking for an update uh, over at Neighbor Cliffs. If you remember a while back, well, it all started in March, I think. We cleared a whole bunch of trees. We moved a whole bunch of dirt. I hauled some dirt from down at the wood yard over there, made some fill. And then uh, Tom from Concrete with the Hosses and his crew, uh, they poured two new patios and a sidewalk over there. One of the patios is elevated about six inches and I said they were gonna build a new shelter on it. Uh, while well, I was over there a little bit ago and wanted to give you a look at what that looks like. It's coming right along. I think it looks really nice. But yeah, that whole project uh, really made a big change over there. It looks great and I'm sure they'll be happy with it. So probably by uh, another week or two, they'll be having fires in their fire pit and I think they're having a party sometime in August and uh, should be all wrapped up by then. But once it's all done, I'll give you another look. But anyway, I think that's about it for today's video. Appreciate y'all being here, and I'll catch you on the next one.